Welcome, brothers and sisters, in the name of Jesus. Uh, grace and peace to you from God and Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. As I was asked to share some thoughts, I will begin with quoting the 1 Corinthians 5 7, which says, Get rid of the old yeast so that you may be a new unleavened batch as you really are. For Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. As we face this week, we'll be celebrating this remarkable, amazing event that took place over 2000 years ago, sacrifice and resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Passover Lamb and Lord. I would like to share some thoughts about the events that took place in this week and was written in Luke chapter 19, verses 37 to 42. It says, when he came near to the place where the road goes down to the Mount of Olive, the whole crowd of disciples began joyfully praise God in loud voices for all the miracles that have, they have seen. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke you, your disciples. I tell you, he replied, if they will keep quiet, the stones will cry out. As he approached Jerusalem and saw the city, he wept over it and said, If you, even you, had only knew on this day what will bring you peace, but now is hidden from your eyes. From yesterday's sermon, we know the background of this event. Jesus was welcome of, as someone who will deliver nation from Rome occupation. Enthusiasm and accept, uh, expectation were very high. They were, they were shouting, they were waving the palm branches as a national symbol, but they missed the whole point. Jesus wept. The, 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 the word is actually saying he was crying out loud because he was looking at the city and he knew that they missed the whole point. They don't know what is going on. Jesus chose this particular day for this event for a very important reason. This day was God's ordained day for Israel to choose their Passover lamb. And God says, this is my son, this is my Passover lamb for you that I prepare. And this is the way you can have peace with me. As Romans 5, 1 says, Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is crying because majority of these people who welcome him look only on this present material earthly reality. If you, even you, had only knew on that day what brings you peace, but now, is hidden from your eyes. What makes Jesus sad is the fact that those people are blind. They cannot see what is really going on in spiritual reality. He didn't condemn them for their desire for political freedom. But what really, really deeply moved him was the fact that they are on the way of destruction and condemnation for that is internal. So, that day was very important. He is the Lamb of God, our King, our Lord, coming to be sacrificed as a, as a redemption for us. And those people are not looking at him that way. So our role as a, as a people who are disciples, who follow him, is to boldly proclaim who he really is. And he is the chosen one. He's a God and Savior. He's Alpha and Omega, Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, and our Passover Lamb. Especially in these days, we need to boldly proclaim and, and, and make this know to people. Another, another question arises, are we have the same compassion for those lost ones as Jesus has? Are we weeping and, and, and 
asking him uh, and and Holy Spirit to open their eyes so they can see. As people are now focusing on on their their needs, uh, safety, uh, health, safety, financial safety, political issues, they will be occupied with that. We need to use this time that God has given us uh, to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to open their eyes and have the same compassion that Jesus has for them. He was crying, he was moved, and still, even they don't know what is going on, he wants to be sacrificed for them. So let us let us pray, let us boldly proclaim his name, and use this week to show other people who he really is. Amen.